Midjourney is an extremely powerful AI tool that moves quickly and it has a slight learning curve until you get the hang of it. Midjourney is actually not even a program itself. You use Midjourney's AI through another program called Discord. In order to run Midjourney, we need to download Discord. So head over to discord.com and download for Windows. If you're on the Mac, download it for the Mac. After you have Discord installed, let's go ahead and open it up. When you open up Discord, it's going to ask you to log in with your email or phone number and then a password that correlates to that account. If you have an account, go ahead and log in here. And if you don't, click register at the bottom. Here it's going to ask you for your email, username, password, and your date of birth. After you've created your Discord account, go ahead and sign in. Next, let's head over to midjourney.com. In order to use Midjourney, you need to link your Discord and Midjourney account. Click sign in and it's gonna ask you to log in. Sometimes if you've already logged in, you can go ahead and skip this step and just click authorize. But for now, I'm gonna log in. And now it's asking me to authorize the link between Midjourney and my Discord account. Click authorize. Now you're logged in on Midjourney. Let's go ahead and head back over to Discord and learn how that program works. Discord is a voice, video, and chat app. It's used by a lot of gamers, and a lot of businesses can use it too. On the far left-hand side is a list of servers. These are like chat rooms. When you head into these, there'll be people inside of them that you can chat with. Let's head over to the Midjourney server. When you first get into the Midjourney server, it's going to look very complicated, but over on the left-hand side, next to the servers list, is different rooms. So if you go to the newbies room, you can see that there's images that people are creating live. Down at the bottom is a chat box, and this is where you would type your message. So I can type in something like, hello world. And then it will send it to everybody in the room. Sometimes when you try to open up Discord, it'll open up within your web browser. If that happens to you, you can go ahead and close it out. Let's stick with the desktop app for this tutorial. I want to talk for a moment about the Midjourney subscription plans. Right now, at the time of this video, there is four different plans. You have free, basic, standard, and pro plans. The free is, of course, free. Basic is 10, standard is 30, pro plan is 60. If you buy an annual subscription, it's a little bit cheaper each month. So if you know you're gonna be using it for a long time, then I would recommend doing the annual subscription. Personally, I don't think the free trial is worth it. If you're gonna be using Midjourney and if you wanna learn it, go ahead and pay for the basic plan. If you want, you can do the monthly subscription, and if you never use it again, you're only out $10. Also, with the basic plan, it gives you the rights to use the images that you create commercially, meaning you can use them in school or you can use them for your company and you can sell them and make money off of them. The free trial will give you about 0.4 hours of lifetime or fast GPU time, which just means that your renders are going to render faster. You can have three jobs running at the same time and you can have 10 of them queued up. And on the free trial, you can only create about 25 images before you have to upgrade to a basic standard or a pro plan. The worst part about the free trial is that you cannot use your images commercially and you have to attribute mid-journey when you do use the images. This is why I recommend going with the basic plan. This is the plan that I use. Here you can see the outline for the basic plan. The great part about it is you do get 3.3 hours per month. Um, I use the basic plan to create content, so I actually get a lot of use out of it. It may be more than what a lot of people need, but in the end, if you are in school or if you are using it for a business, in my opinion, it is a very good deal for $10 a month. Just like the free trial, the basic plan gives you three concurrent jobs and 10 jobs waiting in the queue. In the standard and pro plan, you do get unlimited relaxed GPU time, which means that it won't put you at the forefront of the line, but it will put you in the back of the line so that your images do get rendered over time. It's just a little bit slower, essentially. The pro plan is great because you get 12 concurrent fast jobs, three concurrent relaxed jobs, and then 10 more jobs waiting in the queue. So that's probably more than most people need. One thing to note about the basic plan is you can only create about 200 images a month. Let's head back over to Discord. If you are subscribed to a Midjourney plan, then you can actually just direct message the Midjourney bot over on the left hand side, you'll have an option. And I'll get there in just a moment. But for now, if you did not subscribe to a Midjourney plan, what you can do is you can create a server and then invite the Midjourney bot into it. So that way you don't have to see all the other images that other people are making. It gets kind of messy and sometimes it's hard to find your own images. Go over to the left-hand side on the servers list and click the add a server button. 
click create my own. Skip this question for now. And then let's name it mid journey images and click create. Now head back over into the mid journey server. On the top right, there's a show member list button. If you click that, it'll show all the members that are in the mid journey server. Find the mid journey bot, right click the name and click profile. When the profile pops up, click add to server and then select the mid journey images server that we just created. Click continue. Authorize. Click I am human, hopefully, and then allow access. And now you have the mid journey bot within the server that we just created. If you can't find the member list button, you can simply find the mid journey bot somewhere within the chat, click its name, click add to server, and then you'll follow the same prompts that we just completed. Let's head over into the mid journey images server that we just created. At this point in time, if you don't have a paid plan for mid journey, you can stay on this screen and just follow along from here. But for me, I'm going to switch over to my paid account. If you do have a paid plan, go over into your mid journey server, find the mid journey bot on the member list, right click it and click message. Now you can direct message the mid journey bot. Let's imagine our first image, do forward slash imagine, and then write your prompt. A prompt is a set of instructions, concept, phrases, descriptors, or really whatever you want the AI to create an image of. Let's start with something simple like a modern home, comma, colorful, and comma, in Miami, Florida, for a family. And for fun, let's put them on a beach. And then press enter to send in your request. You can see that your request was sent in and it was sent to the mid journey bot and it's waiting to start 62% and it's using the fast GPU. It's at 78% and it's using the fast GPU time 93% and soon hundred. All right. And there you go. That's the image that I created. You can maximize it by clicking on it. It's very colorful. It looks like a modern home. It looks like it's in Miami. It did miss one part of the prompt, which is on the beach, but that's okay. We can fiddle around with that a little bit later and I'll show you how to get images that are more exact. But for now, this is our first piece that we've created. After your first image is created, you have a lot of different ways you can further develop it into whatever you like. Right below the image grid are three options that we see immediately. It really looks like nine, but it's three. U1, two, three, and four, I'll refer to upscale, images one, two, three, and four, and V1, two, V3, and V4, I'll refer to make a variation of image one, two, three, and four. The rerun or refresh button is pretty much self-explanatory. It's gonna rerun your prompt. And because it's AI, it'll create a different image each time. The numbers one, two, three, and four for upscale and variations actually correlate to the images that are in the image grid. Top left will be one, top right is two, Bottom left is three, bottom right is four. Upscale will re-render the image you like and the output will be full resolution at 1024 by 1024 pixels. Variation will re-render image one, two, three, or four, and it'll create a new image grid or four new images that are slight variations of it. The concept of Mid Journey is you wanna write a prompt that's gonna create an image grid of four images that you can choose from. If you don't like any of them, then you can click rerun or change your prompt in some way that you'll like it more. If you do like one or two of them, then you can run a couple variations of it. Or if you do like one a lot, then you can upscale it. So let's say that you like image number three, but you want to create a slight variation of it, or it's not quite what you want, but it is your favorite out of these four. Let's go to V3 to run a variation of image three. Now that it's done, all four images are very similar to image number three that we created before. So let's say that I like image number one in this image grid. I can click upscale and it's gonna create a 1024 by 1024 pixel image of it. When you upscale, it enlarge the image slightly and it's given it more detail. To save the image to your computer, you can right click it within the Discord app and click save image. You can click it here in the Discord app and do save image. Or you can head back over to midjourney.com, click sign in, after you've signed into your account, you can see the images outlined here. Hover over it, click the three dots, and then you can click Save Image. 
I like to use the website a lot because it shows you everything that you've created and you can move through it quickly and save the images that you like. The most difficult part about Midjourney AI is writing prompts that output images that aren't only what you want, but they're also impressive. I created a Midjourney cheat sheet for patrons and I linked it in the description below. It's a Midjourney reference guide made specifically for architecture. I also created a whole video on writing prompts and it's right up there. And right below it is another video that I know you'll probably enjoy. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe down below if you wanna see future content just like this. Right beside me here are a list of patrons that support this channel. If you sign up, you get a lot of great architecture related benefits and your name gets featured at the end of the videos like these amazing people right here.